In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Spirit. Amen. The Lord with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the saints and mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the last life. Amen. Let us pray. God of mind, the giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by defending our sense of reverence, human nature in us what is good. And by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nature, through our most and precious Son, who is a man to be the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. St. Paul to the Colossians and to us. Brothers and sisters, from the day we heard about you, we do not cease praying for you and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will, through all spiritual wisdom and understanding, to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, so as to be fully pleasing in every good work bearing fruit and growing in the knowledge of God. Strengthen every power in accord with his glorious might for all endurance and patience, with joy giving thanks to the Father who has made you fit to share in the inheritance of the Holy Ones in light. He delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. The word of the Lord. Our response to the song, the Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness for the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has made known his salvation. Fish. 
and their nets were carried. They signaled it to their par partners in the other boat to come to her them. They came and filled both the boats, so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at his knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made is his feet, and all those with him, and likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were parents of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching the man. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel today tells us that the Simon catches so many fish that his nets begin to turn. What a success! Even though he was a successful, Simon turned his back on his fishing and followed Jesus. Simon's boldness teaches us that there is no joy greater than that which comes from a life of authentic discipleship. And now we have one voice, let us offer our prayers to our merciful God. For the Universal Church, may the Holy Spirit guide her in spreading the love of Christ in every corner of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For secular authorities, may God bless their efforts and the violence and hatred. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith, especially parishioners of St. Jacob, may Jesus' call to discipleship inspire us to respond with eager hearts and minds. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have departed this world, may God lead them into the eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Generous and loving Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, who has redeemed us for a life of discipleship. We ask this to him, who is our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are the God of creation, for true goodness we have received the bread we offer you to the earth and the human hand. Blessed are the of creation for the goodness we have received the wine we offer you through the divine and of human hands and will become our speech of way. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our God, the good God, and his holy church. May the sacred offering of the Lord confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery may accomplish in power through Christ of the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us depart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us be their thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is very right and just our duty and our salvation always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, eternal God, and through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, 
and in his coming in glory we are laid with hope, and so let all the angels and saints we pray to, as in our land we are praying. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are in the glory of all the powers of all of holiness. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the roof also, that they may become blood, body, and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the time he was betrayed and after the world, he took his hand, bread, and giving a thanks to all the David of his disciples, saying, Pay this all of you and be done with, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sapphos entered into the church, as he once more giving the thanks he gave to his disciples, saying, Pay this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cherry summer blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in the ground. Thou mystery we are faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we are before the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving a thanks that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread it throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Christ the Pope, with Christ our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, our brothers and sisters, the fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all the died in mercy, while after death in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, and most his spouse, the Blessed Apostles, the St. Zachary, and all the saints and priests of our ages, we may marry the people first in the life and may praise and glorify you to the Son of Jesus Christ. To him and with him and with him. Thank you. 
Thanks, Jesus. Thanks, Jesus. 